Hi, my name is Stephen and in this video, I am going to tell you how you can start developing games for any platform, may it be Android, iOS or Xbox and it does not matter whether you know programming or not. Coming up. Alright, so let's dive into the video. Before I actually start talking about what are different platforms and all stuff, just a peekaboo knowledge that may be the CEO of Google that is Sundar Pichai or the founder of Microsoft that is Bill Gates, all of their first project was a game. And why so? Because developing games really help you clear all your fundamentals of programming because it involves a good amount of programming and help you develop skills so that you can go and develop some better applications. So if you're a student watching this video, I highly suggest you to make at least one game in your graduation or your post-graduation at whatever age you are so that you develop skills of not just of simple programming but of a complex programming. Now, we can divide this video into three parts. The first one that talks about the type of games. The second one would talk about the software is required to develop those type of games and the third one would be how can you develop games for different platforms that may be iOS, Android, Windows Phone, I think they still exist, uh, maybe or say you can say Xbox, right? Okay, so let's first talk about the types of games. So usually you can divide this type of games into three parts. The first one being a 2D game that is two dimensional second one being 3D and third one being AR and the VR. Okay, so 2D is just a two dimensional. Okay, 3D means three dimensional and AR, VR. I have already made a video. I'll give the link in the description that talks about what is AR and VR. So usually you can divide your games into these three parts. Okay, now moving on to how you can develop these games. If you want to talk about uh, how you can develop 2D games, one of the very good platform, even that even I use in when I was in my graduation was Construct. Then they had Construct 2 version, now they have Construct 3. Uh, it's very easy, if you do not know programming, you should go for Construct uh, 3. You just need to do some simple drag and drop and then you can start developing uh, games. It, it's very, it's very, very easy than the uh, other complex one. Uh, and if you don't want to go with the Construct, there's one more, uh, engine game engine that's called buildbox you might see a guy uh, doing a lot of advertisement with just a green screen telling hey if you want to develop hyper casual games you can go for buildbox so a buildbox build has recently gained a lot of popularity so when it comes to 2d you should go for either construct 2 and buildbox also keeping in note that uh, you do not require coding in these two platforms so for 2D, it was Buildbox and Construct 2. Now let us come into 3D. Now almost all games are 3D. Okay, uh, the big games may be uh, COD or if you remember, I used to play uh, GTA Vice City when I was in my school. I mean, like I was a kid. So uh, we all have played GTA Vice City, right? And I believe at one stage I could I could never move uh, after that level because I always failed. Right? So if you want to develop games like GTA Vice City or uh, COD, you should move into uh, game engines that are like Unity or Unreal. So these are usually 3D games. So this involves a kind of complex programming like both Unity and the uh, Unreal. Whereas Unreal has an option where you need not code. Uh, you can just simply drag and drop but it, it may not be that effective if you want to go for 3D game development. At the same time, Unity and Unreal uh, also support 2D development of the game, like uh, just the way Construct 2 and Buildbox does. Just the difference is uh, Construct 2 and Buildbox are quite simple uh, and easy to use for non-programmers, whereas if you want to develop some complex 2D games, you can even use Unity or the Unreal game engine. So all these softwares are called uh, game engine, not just the softwares to be specific, they're called game engine. Those are used to develop the uh, 3D or any, any of the game. The last one would be your AR VR game. 
Now there's no specific game engine to develop AR and VR games, but what you could do is you could, uh, you know, work with some external libraries that may be Vuforia or maybe be your uh, Google AR Core. So what you do is like you uh, use these libraries in your game engines like Unity and Unreal, and then you start developing AR and VR applications. Uh, also, just to acknowledge you that uh, um, when you're developing 3D games, you might want to develop some uh, custom 3D uh, you know, characters. For that, you can use an open source software that is called Blender. Uh, I know some of my friends who are really good at gaming and develop some really cool, uh, you know, those characters on build on Blender. So make sure that if you're moving into 3D, you also know how to work on Blender. And the third section would be how should you develop games for like Android or the iOS or maybe your uh, Xbox. Now the best part when you work on these good uh, game engines like Unreal or Construct 2 or maybe Unity is like if you develop a game for one application, like if you develop a game for just one platform, right, you can export it to multiple platforms. You just need to fulfill certain requirements like if you're developing a app or game for Android, you should have an uh, Android SDK in your system. Say maybe for the iOS, you should be doing it on a Mac system. Or if you're doing for Xbox, there might be certain requirements. So it's quite easy. You develop game for one application and then you can export it or build it for different platforms. Uh, there might be some of the complications or the requirements that you need to fill up for uh, specific platforms, but it is not that tough and it is easy to manage. That was probably all from my side. I believe we should be developing at least one game in your graduation uh, so that it enhances your programming skills. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I upload videos on every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, right? Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,